proibido cochilar. In this video, we are going to create a new Microsoft 365 tenant from scratch. I had a video a couple of years ago, but I figured that we could update because the process is now different. So open the browser of your choice. And for this demo, we are going to choose an E3 plan because that's the most popular so far. Now you have the choice to buy now or start a free trial. So let's click on free trial. First, we need to enter our email address, either a work or a school account. And Microsoft will see if they need to set up a new account for you. Then click next. And here I'm using a Microsoft account, but this is a personal account. So click on set up account. And now we need to enter a few details. Choose your region and make sure that when you enter the phone number, you do not put the area code or even the zero that you would put before the first number. Click on next. Now we need to prove that we're not a robot. So let's click on send verification code and enter the code that you receive on your phone. Then click on verify. And now it's time to set up your tenant name. So most of the organizations, when they create a new Office 365 tenant, they have their own custom domain. But here we need to create a tenant name and Microsoft is giving you the dot on Microsoft.com, which is mandatory for the tenant regardless. Now be very careful because the tenant name that you choose there, you cannot change it after. Click on check availability and this tenant name is available. Let's click next. And we are now on the page where we need to create our first account. So this first account will be the first on your tenant and therefore will have a global admin rights. So that will be the first global admin on your tenant. Then you can choose if you want to receive some surveys or tips by email or by phone or both, or you can simply uncheck them if you don't want to. And then click on sign up. And we have our Office 365 tenant created. Let's click on go to setup. And so what we don't see is that in the background, SharePoint, Exchange and other workloads are currently provisioning. But meanwhile, we can start getting set up with emails or install the Office 365 apps if we want to. If you don't want to do that now, that's no problem. We can just go back to the tenant itself, go into the dots, and let's go into the admin center. And now your Office 365 tenant is created. Thanks for watching. <laughs>